So tonight, Hollywood had one of those uh, highly coveted uh, popularity contests, or as they call it, award shows. All right. And I mean, you saw a lot of deviancy and a lot of evil things going on at the award shows. And, you know, tonight I wasn't going to make a video about the Oscars, but, you know, this is something that just struck out to me. Someone sent me a photo of it and I had to immediately jump on top of it and make a video because folks, you know, these people are just so out in the open with their evil. They're just so out in the open with how they're trying to destroy black society. They're just so out in the open with their hatred towards black men. And they're so out in the open with their feminization of black men to where it's not even funny. Remember yesterday I did a video talking about uh, how Barack Obama and Steph Curry, the two half breeds, were talking about toxic masculinity, right? You know, admonishing black men about toxic masculinity. Well, they don't want you showing toxic masculinity. This is what they want your masculinity to be. Yeah, this was at the Oscars today. This is a uh, Rob Porter. I don't know who Rob Porter is. Apparently, he's some gay actor. All right. This is what he decided to wear to the Oscars. And this is their idea of black men uh, expressing their masculinity. You as a black man, if you are a black man, this is their this is their acceptable form of you expressing your masculinity. You going to some popularity contest of programming the masses and rewarding people uh, that program the masses. You showing up to that in a dress, in a gown. All right. This is what they want black men to, to become. This is their idea of non-toxic masculinity. This is what they consider masculine. Right? Isn't this appalling? How they just show this out in the open. You know, why, why, can, why can a white man, why can, uh, what's that, uh, Neil Patrick Harris, why can he go to the Oscars wearing this? Why can that uh, uh, gay guy, the singer from American, the Adam Lambert, why can Elton John or you know, what's another gay actor? I don't know. I mean, why can some gay white dude go to the Oscars wearing this? Why did it have to be a black dude? Oh, well, I'll tell you exactly why. It is because they are trying to send a message to black men. They don't want you to be masculine. They don't want you with a black woman. They don't want you procreating black. Because the ultimate goal is black genocide. They want you either procreating white or doing this. Look at him. Isn't this appalling? He's wearing a tuxedo gown, whatever the hell this is. Disgusting, appalling, deviant, devilish, horrible. All right, and you know, he's going to go to hell for this ultimately. But, you know, it's sickening. It's sickening. And to top it off, all right, like I say about a lot of these gay men in the media, you know, uh, promoting this kind of stuff. You know, I've talked about Lee Daniels. I've talked about Don Lemon. All right. There's other gay men out there, gay black men. You know, Don Cheadle, uh, even though I don't know he's gay, but he's probably he probably has a white woman. But, you know, not only is he doing this, but look, look at what else he's doing. He's married to a white man, an old funny looking white man. Look at this funny looking blue eyed devil. All right. And I'm not saying he's a devil just because he's a white man. I'm saying he's a devil because he is supporting this destructive agenda to kill and destroy black people. The enemy comes to kill, steal and destroy this, this, what they call a, a union, what they call a marriage. This is destructive. This is killing the black community. This is killing the black community. And all these homosexuals in Hollywood promoting this disgusting agenda, Don Lemon, Lee Daniels, Rob Porter, right, they all will suffer the same fate right, because they are killing, they are attempting, they are attempting to kill, steal, and destroy you as a black man and destroy you and your black children. 
We can't allow this to happen. The agenda is plain and out in the open now. At some point, it seemed as though, you know, they were trying to hide the agenda. You know, they they tried to make it seem as though, oh, there is no agenda. But now the agenda is plain. Look at him. You know, this, you know, this, this musty nut nigga went to the Oscars wearing a whole dress, a whole dress, not a he wore a whole dress, a whole gown to the Oscars. You know, look kind of like a wedding gown. It doesn't make any sense. Married to a white man. Right? That's the agenda they have for your black boys. Right? Your intelligent black boys, they don't want those intelligent black boys to procreate with black women. They want those intelligent black boys to get up, get in the media, uh, get with some white man. Then they'll give them some high paying job because, you know, they're doing what they're asked, which is, you know, be gay and with a white man. And that creates black genocide. That's the goal. That's the goal. And a lot of black people don't even realize it. You know, I guarantee you there's so many black people on social media praising this right now. I guarantee you there's going to be so many black people on TV tomorrow, you know, saying how beautiful and how stunning this is. This is not stunning. This is appalling. This is the representation. This and this is the representation of our culture going down the toilet. This is the representation of a culture deteriorated. There should be black people outraged. There should be tons of black people outraged over this plum fool having the audacity to get on TV representing black men in a dress. In a dress. This is how you know Hollywood is no good. Them, their handlers, the CEOs, the, the owners of Hollywood, they're no good. They mean no good for our community. You know, that's why when people say, oh, I love this actor or I love this actress. No, no, no. Don't love that actor or don't love that actress because they mean you no good. All right. These people will never do anything beneficial to our community. They only mean destruction. They only mean pain. They only mean deterioration. And more and more black people should be outraged by this and calling this out and understanding this for the deviancy and for the representation of deterioration that it actually is. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and as always, stay woke.